In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the coolant on this Ram 1500. This happens to be with the 3.6 liter V6 engine. Let's get started. You want to make sure the engine is cool before you start this process. And then down below, there is a heater valve. So you want to make sure that heater valve is open. So we're going to start the vehicle briefly and turn the heat to the hot position and shut the vehicle off. Now double check, make sure the vehicle isn't hot, the coolant's not hot before you take this cap off. Even grab the hose, give the hose a squeeze, and then you can take the cap off. Now we're gonna drain the coolant. You can see on the radiator there is a drain. I'm gonna use a hex socket, a 10 millimeter. Make sure you have a drain bucket underneath. You could also use a socket on the outside. And get that draining. And once that's drained out, we'll just tighten that up. Just snug that down. Now I'm gonna move a drain bucket underneath this lower radiator hose. On the engine side, we wanna get as much coolant out of the engine as possible, so we're gonna pop this off here. Just use a hose clamp plier tool. Move the hose clamp. And wiggle the hose off. Be careful, you're gonna have some coolant come out pretty quick. I'm just gonna hold it there so it doesn't come out too fast. There we go. I'll drain a lot more coolant out. Now we'll take this hose off as well. Just use the hose clamp tool, hose clamp pliers. Move that hose clamp down. Grab the hose, give it a wiggle. Just a little bit of coolant there. I'll just drain that out. Now all that's drained out, we're gonna put these hoses back on. Just move the hose clamp. That's in the right spot. Do the same with the lower one. Just gonna move the hose clamp first. So it's a little easier. So it's in the right spot. Slide it over. And release. You want to drain the coolant out of the reservoir as well. You can use a fluid extraction pump, suck the fluid out there, or grab the hose off here and just push this down into a bucket. Let that drain out. This one's empty at this point. Put that back on. Now we're gonna use a funnel. This one has an adapter. Makes it a little easier. Then you wanna take the appropriate type coolant, a 50-50 mix, and just fill it up. That is full now. I'm just gonna take this funnel off. Take the cap off. You can put the cap back on. It's all the way full up here. Top off the reservoir. You 
You can check the level on the reservoir with the dipstick. You can see where the max line is right there. You want to fill it up to that. You can go a little bit higher before you run the vehicle. Put that back in. Then you want to start and run the vehicle for about 15 to 20 minutes, monitoring the temperature inside the vehicle. Make sure the engine does not overheat. Make sure you have heat coming out the dash. And then shut the vehicle down. Let it sit. Once it cools, adjust your coolant levels accordingly. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.